Let's practice drawing angles. We have to be familiar with our protractor to do this. The first angle I'm asked to draw is 50 degrees. I need to start by giving myself a straight line to draw from. Now that I have the straight line, I can zero my protractor using this dot on one end of the straight line that I drew. And then, counting up from zero, which means this time I'm using the inner numbers on the protractor, I go up to 50 and I put a line there that shows a 50 degree angle with the line that I had already drew. It is that easy to draw a 50 degree angle. Let's try drawing a 90 degree angle, but we will use the left side of the protractor this time instead. I need a straight line. Once I have my straight line, I can zero the protractor on it. And because I'm on the left side of the protractor and I know I have to count up from zero, this time I need to use the outer set of numbers. I follow those numbers until I get to 90 and I put a dot and then I draw a line between that dot and the vertex I started from and I have created a 90 degree angle. Some angles you're asked to draw are bigger than 90 though. What do you do? Well, start with a straight line, put your vertex of your protractor, the zero dot, on the vertex one end of the line. And then we're counting up from zero. Well, that's the inner numbers on this side of the protractor. So I keep on going past 90 until I get 214, which is going to be right about here. And then I draw a line between the dot that I marked and the vertex that I was using. This is a 114 degree angle. A 180 degree angle is also known as a straight angle. If you have a line, You zero your protractor, and counting up from zero, meaning using the inner numbers this time, I go all the way to 180, well, it's straight over here. All I'm doing when I connect them, the vertex to that dot, is I'm continuing the straight line I started with. So this is a straight angle, or 180 degree angle. Where it gets a little bit tricky is that the protractor's numbers only go to 180, and then they stop. But some angles you may be asked to draw are bigger than 180. In order to draw this 230 degree angle, you have to know that the angle of a circle is 360 degrees. So what we can do is we can say 360 degrees minus 230 is equal to 130. Let's try drawing a 130 degree angle underneath our starting line. Counting from zero, 130 is over here. I get, I put a dot, I draw a line connecting my vertex to that dot, but the 130 degree angle is this smaller one here. I was asked for the 230, which is complementary to the 130. 230 is what I get if I subtract 130 from the circle. So therefore, all I have to do is put this symbol for the angle on the other side, and I must have a 230 degree angle. Let's try the same trick with a 335 degree angle. There's my starting line. I zero my protractor on it. I can't go up to 335, that's far bigger than the 180 I have in my protractor. So I do the circle, 360, I subtract 335, and my answer is 25. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a 25 degree angle instead. And then instead of putting the symbol for the angle on the inside, which is a 25 degree angle I know, I put it on the outside. And that must be a 335 degree angle because 25 plus 335 is equal to the 360 degree circle.